guys, it is me again. Um, I'm going to just quickly talk about a, a movie um, that I actually got last month in my Blu-ray horror pack. Um, and quick little side note for my horror packs this month, they have sent them out. Um, I have not gotten either pack yet, but it does look like I should be getting the Blu-ray one tomorrow-ish. So hopefully I will be doing that one uh, tomorrow if I get it uh, before I go into work. Uh, the DVD one, though, it's, I'm showing that, like, it's in the process of being shipped to me, but not quite on its way to my doorstep yet. So, that one probably is going to be held off for a little bit until I actually get it. But like I said, Blu-ray should hopefully be here tomorrow. So, little update on that. Um, so anyway, on to the movie. Um, so I'll, I literally just watched The Tall Man. Um, I actually just watched it for the second time only because um, I know in one of my videos I kind of had said that I watched this already but I kind of was like doing other things at the time and kind of kept, kept getting interrupted while I was watching it um, so I didn't really get to like give it a, a fair viewing um, so I finished it a little bit ago um, and you know what I'm glad I, I rechecked this one out because there was quite a bit that I missed the first time that I uh, watched this movie because the first time I watched it by the time I got to the end I was like what what just happened? What just happened? Um, but yeah, so I watched this today, full attention and everything. Um, and I gotta say, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I mean, I didn't love it. Certainly didn't hate it. It's, I'm not gonna say it's one of my favorites, and it's definitely not one that, like, I hated. I'm just like, eh, it was, it's an alright movie. I mean, I'll I'll probably watch it again. You know, I could totally see myself maybe popping this in one day again, rewatching it. You know, so I, you know, I guess I semi like it enough to watch it again. Um, and this movie, uh, it definitely, um, like I said, this came in my horror pack last month, one of my horror packs last month. And, um, you know, I would definitely say, like, it's not, um, and I think a couple of people, a couple of people that I, watch them unpacking this last month have kind of said to like you know it's definitely not like a horror horror movie it's definitely a little bit more on like the suspense side and you know once again I know I've said like horror is such a, a, a broad term because there's so many different sort of like subgenres of horror including like suspense movies like this and like thrillers and everything so I would definitely say this is more of like a suspense drama um and you know I would recommend this to anyone who you know might not be a horror fan um but like something that they're a little like ooh, you know keeps them on the edge of their seat a little bit um you know and for me like I definitely did kind of see some of the stuff in this kind of coming. I was kind of like, okay, this is probably what's going to happen. And it did. Uh, not saying it's a bad thing. Uh, I mean, keep in mind, I keep I watch a lot of uh, movies, a lot of horror movies. So a lot of times I can kind of figure out, you know, what's going on in a movie or probably what's going to happen in a movie. Um, but yeah, it, you know, like I said, it was pretty decent. Um, a lot of good, like, kind of like turns and everything. Um, and I should probably say too, like, this is probably going to contain spoiler alerts, or spoilers, so this is your alert right now, um, just because I know, like, I, I'm trying to get a little better of not, like, spoiling everything, but usually that goes right out the window, um, but yeah, I, I kind of liked what they did with the movie, um, you know, good, pretty good storyline, um, I know there's, there's a ton of other movies that are very similar to this. Um, so, I mean, I know a lot of people are probably, like, when they see this, they're like, dude, it's like this movie or that movie, this movie's much better, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said, I, I liked it, you know, I, I like it just enough where I, I could totally see myself watching it again, or, um, you know, or if, like, you know, I went over to my sister's house or something, it's like, yeah, bring a movie, I don't want anything scary, but maybe something a little suspenseful, perfect movie for her you know, little girls night out or something, whatevs. Um, but yeah, like, 
it was good. I, uh, you know, I kind of um, liked, I actually did like Jessica Biel in this. Because, um, I, I, you know, no disrespect to her or anything. I just never really followed much of her work. Um, I legitimately, I think the last thing I saw her in was the Texas Chainsaw remake that was done like 12 or 13 years ago. And I know she was on like a TV show and stuff and she's been in a ton of stuff. You know, just like I said, nothing against her or anything. I just, I've never really followed her career or anything, whatever. But um, I do like her, portray her portrayal in this and I, I really kind of like her... Um, her character's sort of, like, backstory and, like, you know, uh, spoiler alert, um, kind of, you know, like, her motive for what she did with these kids and everything. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not saying that it was right that she, uh, you know, was taking these kids or anything, but I understand where she was like, oh, you know, I was just trying to give these kids a better life, trying to break the cycle, and kind of like... I, Okay, I see that, but you were still kind of, you know, taking kid, people's kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of like that aspect. I was kind of like, ooh, you know, a little like doctor trying to do good, you know, um, while being a villain at the same time. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, she is doing something bad. Like, you know, you want to hate her, but at the same time, you're like, I get it. At least for me, you know, I'm just saying, I get it. So, um, but yeah, I mean. A, a nice little movie, you know. Um, and like I said, I'm glad. I'm glad that I, I rechecked this one out. I um, I know I it. I took a little longer to rewatch it than I kind of initially planned, but I kind of like that I I did wait a little longer to to review it. Um, you know, just simply because like, you know, sometimes with me, certain movies, it's like I'll watch it, and if I watch it again two days later, I really just cannot. Uh, pay attention and keep focus. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm glad I rechecked it out. Uh, it definitely is worth, you know, in my opinion, kind of at least checking out, checking it out. Um, you know, like I said, not the greatest movie, but my opinion was kind of entertaining. It was, you know, it was entertaining in my opinion. Um, and like I said, you know, for anyone who is not like into horror movies, uh, this is a good one for you to watch because it's not, like I said, it's not like a typical uh, horror movie in what like most people, especially non-horror fans, would think of. Like, I know a lot of people when they hear, uh, at least with like uh, non-horror fans, when you hear the term horror, you think like, oh, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser, uh, The Exorcist, Pet Cemetery. It's not really like that. It's you know, like I said, it's much more, like, suspense drama type movie. Um, but still, you know, in my opinion, it's still kind of, like, in that realm of horror. So, you know, for me, when I feel like I want to maybe watch, you know, I need a little bit of a break from horror. I feel like The Tall Man, for me, would be a good one for me to kind of, you know, watch something a little different from horror, but still in my, like, horror you know, movie genre. Um, but yeah, so like if you guys have never seen this, like I said, I I would say it's worth just kind of checking out. Um, whether you like it or not, you know, it's up to you. I'm not saying, like I said, it, I'm not saying it's like the best movie in the world. I certainly, you know, I'm not going to say like I absolutely love it. And on the other hand, I'm going to, I'm also throwing out there that it's, it's definitely not like the worst movie I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of crappy movies. I would not put The Tall Man on, like, that crappy movie list. So, uh, there's just kind of my little thoughts on The Tall Man. Um, like I said, uh, this was from my Blu-ray pack from last month. So, you know, uh, check it out. So, um, on that note, though, I'm gonna, uh, call it a, uh, a video, I guess. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow before I go into work with my Blu-ray August horror pack. So, uh, hopefully I will see you tomorrow before work. If not, it'll probably be after work. So, uh, you guys take it easy tonight. And if I don't see you tomorrow, you guys have a great weekend.